Hello everyone. Today in this video I would like to talk to you something about one of the best OpenStreetMap projects which is the Open Infrastructure Map called as an openinframap.org and how uh, can we transfer this data to QGIS in order to receive some versatile GIS format from this file. But uh, firstly, let's have a look what layers uh, have been created here. So we've got the legends here. So we have the infrastructure presented uh, all around the world, which includes uh, power, solar generation, uh, some telecoms items, oil, gas, industry, as well as uh, water. All of these layers are to be captured to QGIS via tile JSON uh, format. The tile JSON basically is the kind of JSON format uh, which is dedicated for des describing the tile sets at the same basis as we have the XYZ map tiles. So in practice it means that the file keeps track roughly in the area which we want to have enlarged at the given moment. So if, for example, we would like to take a close-up view at the Czech Republic, for instance, then all the data are populated just in this area, but no outside of this area. So let's let's see uh, how can we transfer this data to QGIS. So all the relevant information you can find here. If you see the major map title, you can go to the about section and in the about section you got the point how to access this data and uh, what is the most interesting from our point of view the tile json file which uh, looks like this so as you can notice this is uh, roughly json file which includes the tiles in this link and also attribution, but attribution is not as much important as the tiles. This uh, link is the most important uh, width and uh, all the vector layers which are to be displayed in our uh, QGIS file. Okay, so now we've, we have the, the address of our file. So we have to uh, copy this address to our clipboard and go to the QGIS. So in our QGIS, we must go to the vector and select vector tiles reader, where we can add our vector tiles reader. I have already provided open inframap, but uh, you will set up new connection by clicking new, call it like open inframap and uh, paste the copied link here, which uh, looks like this. If you click save, then you just need to click connect and the first thing which will come will be the list of all the layers which the open inframap provides for you. Once you hit add, then you should have all the layers populated in your layers bar. Now it looks uh, perfect. However, we must move all these layers to the top because they are not visible. They were hidden by our OpenStreetMap canvas. Now you see all the layers populated. So this is great, everything works fine. And now you can take a look at the 
tile JSON specificity. When you zoom out, these layers will be quite congested and uh, some of them will be hidden because of the low zoom level. But if you take bigger close-up view, then you should see much more items populate. That's not everything which you can do with this stuff in your QGIS, because as I mentioned at the very beginning, all these items, all these layers can be saved in the any GIS format. So let, let me select something uh, here. You can open the data attribute table and you can do the selection like this. Or you can select items on the map by clicking the edit layer. Some stuff has been selected and if you export the stuff, for example, to the GeoJSON, open from up, save it. Next, you can load it. And your file is already here. I've switched off the whole open infra map sets of layers and I have currently just the items which have been downloaded from my QGIS. That works uh, perfect. However, this is still one thing to worth to mention. All the open infra map layers work under the following coordinate system, which is EPSG 3857. Please remember, if you decide to change this coordinate system, the item simply uh, won't appear on your map. So make sure that you always have the default CRS provided. Okay. Thank you for your attention. I hope that you have learned something new from this video and you will enjoy with your work.